This picture is the oldest galaxy seen by humans. It is one of the latest images from the Webb Space Telescope. Scientists say this image shows the galaxy called Glass Z13 as it looked just 300 million years after the Big Bang. And a new image of Jupiter is out, making it clear there is no end in sight for the miraculous views from Webb. Take this in for just a moment. What you are looking at has never been seen before with such clarity. Wow, look at that. It is, NASA says, the deepest and sharpest infrared image ever of the distant universe. Taken by the space agency's new James Webb telescope, the release of the full color image called for, no, demanded fanfare. But today is a historic day. President Joe Biden provided that, unveiling the image at a White House event. These images are going to remind the world that America can do big things and remind the American people, especially our children, that there's nothing beyond our capacity, nothing beyond our capacity. We can see possibilities no one has ever seen before. Because of the time it takes for light to travel across the cosmos and reach the telescope, the image shows a galaxy cluster as it appeared more than four and a half billion years ago. Even more mind-bending, the image NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said covers a patch of the sky the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length. It is gonna be so precise, you're going to see whether or not planets, because of the chemical composition that we can determine with this telescope of their atmosphere, if those planets are habitable. The data is just so rich. Getting to this historic point was never a guarantee. Over the course of 20 plus years, there were management changes to the program, cost overruns, delays, and redesigns. When Webb finally got to the launch pad last December, the telescope had cost a whopping $9 billion. The uncertainty didn't end after liftoff on Christmas Day. And liftoff. Decollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. As Webb headed for its place in space one million miles away, the telescope had to unfurl its sun shield comprised of bearings, pulleys, motors, springs, cables, 140 release mechanisms, and the mirror's 18 hexagonal pieces had to open in precise order. Everything worked, for the most part, flawlessly, which led us to the White House event. It was clearly the appetizer, wetting our appetite, setting the stage and building interest for the main course, NASA's reveal of more images. And they didn't disappoint. What you are looking at five galaxies in close enough proximity to interact and produce star formations in each other. The image of Southern Ring Nebula shows a dying star emitting a cloud of gas and dust, and next to it a second never before seen star is visible. From a dying star to the birth of stars. There's just so much going on here. It's so beautiful. This is called the Cosmic Cliffs. It is a tapestry of young stars, a stellar nursery in a sea of cosmic dust. Every dot of light we see here is an individual star, not unlike our sun. And many of these likely also have planets. And it just reminds me that, you know, our sun and our planets and ultimately us were formed out of the same kind of stuff that we see here. This same image was taken by the Hubble telescope. Comparing the two is stunning. Seen from Webb's advanced instruments, there's an explosion of detail. Nobel Prize winner and senior project scientist for Webb, John Mather, says you can't wrap your head around what has been accomplished. It's so near impossible, but we did it. 
Scientists believe Webb will enhance our understanding of the universe in ways never imagined. It will peer back in time to the very beginning of time, more than 13 billion years ago, right after the Big Bang, when the first galaxies and stars were born. For my radar, I'm John Zarella. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.